Good evening, everybody. It's Matthew now. It's uh, the 28th of the 1st, 2017, and the time is now 6.32 Northeast here in the UK. And also respect to a lot of uh, channels that are doing excellent work. And basically here you can see Carlos Ferrada, a Chilean astronomer, who basically uh, captured images and also um, noticed that this uh, huge incoming system is... Uh, on its way. It's heading our way. It's been doing it for years. We're going to go to some cams now, so we're going to see if we can look to see if we can find some interesting uh, objects up there in the, uh, the skies, the reflections as well. Two or three reflections in the sky. So uh, take care. Enjoy the footage from Matt Rogers. We're looking at the uh, Mexico cams, and you can see on this Mexico cam, look how dark it is in that haze of chemtrails. Now the thing is, though, these chemtrails and all this haze and pollution up there in the skies that they're spraying, all this aluminium and all this uh, toxins, it's being spread to hide the system. The system is out there now. And also today as well, here in the UK, I was coming back from shopping and I pulled up the car and looked at the uh, sky. Took some images as well, but you can see basically where the sun is blatantly being covered by these uh, chemicals. They are spraying every single day, and the sun is too low. The sun is not moving as high as it was last January. It's very, very low. I mean, people down on the ground, here on this image you can see, they're breathing all these chemtrails in, and also in China and other parts of the world as well. I've noticed on reports that um, they have all these... Uh, Toxins that get blown through the skies and that and they head towards the land. It's just absolutely criminal what they're doing The military are being run by the powers to be right now and uh, One of these or some of these pilots need to expose these uh, Chems now and let the public know what's going on because this is our planet and it's so awful to see what's going on But it's so evident on these uh, webcams these uh, Images that are in high definition that our uh, our Earth is darkening now. You can see on the left-hand side that dark shadow coming in, and these chems are just being pumped every single day now. I'm gonna go to another cam here on this cam as well in Mexico. Look at the land. Look at the darkness. Look at the traffic down on the left-hand side. How dim it is. We're getting this pinky yellow haze again. And also, as the sun is up, the timestamp there is 12.43. And you can see that red reflection and the blue reflection above. These are the two reflections that I've been getting on the other cams as well. Where the sky and the, the evening sky, when the sun's going down, you get this blue haze in the sky. Then red haze and blue haze. We are getting two objects. Two reflections of two objects that are up there in the sky. And it's just outstanding that people still don't look up to see that the skies have changed. I mean this is so evident that we've got two huge celestial reflections. I put my life on the line here because I'm telling you now these huge reflections are not from our sun. Our sun is up there. Look at the darkness on the right and left hand side. Sooner or later these celestial bodies are going to be coming very close in front of our sun and we will go into darkness we will go into uh, three days of darkness this is now this situation is now these reflections prove it I'm going to go to another cam here we are again at another Mexico cam 12.45 p.m. now anybody with common sense everybody all the subscribers that are subscribing I just want to say as well thank you for uh, you subscribers for subscribing as well. It's so great that other people are joining in and watching the channel as we travel through and also this diary that I'm doing of the skies. It's so important that we get the truth out there because these skies are not the same skies as we've had before. Now, these celestial bodies are getting bigger and they are coming very, very much closer now. You can see here that there is a reflection from another heavenly body and also this blue reflection in front of this uh, large simulated disc. Our natural sun is being covered every day now and all the ground is dark. Look at the haze 
and also look at the trash that's coming in as well. We're in trouble. We really are, and government are still plugging it, but there's nothing wrong with us. There's nothing wrong with our Mother Earth. They keep pumping out this fake news media all the time. Every time I put on the, uh, the TV and I see the government that's uh, saying their bit on the TV medias and stuff, and I can see the lies running off their tongues. It's just absolutely evil what they're doing. There's so many things that they're covering up there now. They are cloaking Nibiru and also the binary twin. There's a reflection here as well. There's so many things that are up there that basically we need to uh, keep our eyes to the skies and notice these. Here, as I said as well, oh, is in the UK. They are covering it 100% these chemtrails. They are spray blasting our skies every single day here in the UK. But the sun and the binary twin is still trying to cut through those cams. I'm going to go to another cam now. Here is another cam in Mexico as well. Look how dark it is. It's very, very dark. Now, we are definitely being eclipsed. It is time now to prepare. It is so much time. I mean, the thing is now, it's just so evidential. I mean, look at the ground. It's too dark. It's 12.48 p.m. And look how dark it is. On the ground, you've got the car lights on. I mean, the thing is, though, I mean, they've got objects up there in the skies. This heavenly body is coming. It's here. It, I mean, the, there is a ring, that, a large ring that's on the screen there. That's from the camera. But the thing is, the rest of it is so evident that we've got this huge object that's coming in. Blatantly coming in. I mean... Mr. Dill Martin's channel, I mean, he's did a video on uh, Celestial Body the other day. I mean, it was fantastic. It's outstanding how that object was picked up. So, uh, excellent work, Martin, for doing that. I mean, the thing is, though, I mean, all the subscribers are watching. And it's just amazing what we're seeing now, isn't it? I mean, we're seeing a lot of large objects up there in the skies. I'm going to go to another cam now. Here's another cam as well that's in... Uh, Mexico, you can see on the horizon that red haze from Nemesis, the binary twin. Now we're getting the reflections as well from the binary twin. I mean, look at the ground. It's very red. It will get much darker, much redder as the uh, time goes on. We're going to see some huge objects up there in uh, the near future. Because the skies are completely changing now. I'm going to go to another cam for you. This is uh, another cam from Mexico. You can see this uh, dark haze on the left-hand side of the screen. It could be smog or chemicals and uh, chem waste. The thing is, behind it is a dark shadow. Can't get rid of the shadow. I'm going to go to another cam. Here's another webcam in Mexico. I mean, look at this. I have never seen it this dark on this cam before. Look on the ground, that very yellow haze. And look at the skies as well. I mean, the, now look at where the sun is. I mean, this blue, huge blue reflection. Something is in front of our sun. Some celestial bodies are in front of our sun now. Is it the blue kachina? I don't know. But the thing is, though, we're getting this huge blue reflection. All this plasma coming from another heavenly body. Something is strange and going on. We need to keep watching these uh, images daily. For you, the viewers and subscribers and also other channels, that we need to take note that this is all completely different from what we saw on these cams before. There is huge objects up there now. Also asteroids that are up there, very, very big asteroids and uh, fireballs as well, and that's all been uh, charted on the NOAA cams. And I'm going to go to another cam now, but come on, I've never seen skies like this on this cam before, ever. The reflections are too big. Good. Good to view this uh, sky alert cam in Mexico. It's one of the volcano cams. So we're going to watch this now. And you'll see the red reflection around the uh, simulator. But the sun's behind that. And this huge reflection from our affected sun. Now we're going to click through the, um, the time 
and you can see basically uh, what's going on here. So we're going to click through and you can see this huge reflection that's coming up through, through. This reflection here is from our natural sun. Now the thing is though, the simulator comes up in front of our sun and you will see this huge red reflection from Nibiru that's traveling with our sun now and also the binary twin. We're going to come up now and you can see this dark shadow that we always see. This huge black shadow. Now the simulator is above our Earth's atmosphere and basically it's controlled by the powers to be and the military um, and basically um, as our natural sun is a long way away. Now can you see all this plasma that's coming through? Can you see the lines, the, the squareness of this uh, object? It's not our natural sun. It's being covered all the time by this uh, object. We're getting this wrong shape all the time. Now, this is very strange because the thing is, though, this, the whole system is coming up. Now, what you can see here is Nibiru. This here is a reflection, a large reflection of Nibiru. They can't hide it as much now because um, basically it's huge. The celestial body now, Wormwood, is huge. Whatever you want to call it, they've called it so many different names in the um, in the past. The Frightener, and also other names and things. But I mean, I mean, look at it. They've made a mistake here. They've showed you the heavenly body. This is not our natural sun now. Look how dark the sky is. Look how dark the sky's got above. A huge reflection that's hiding, and it's in front of our sun. And they're using this object as well, the simulator in our atmosphere, to try and hide it. The thing is, it's got bigger now. Look at the sh shape of our sun. It's not a camera defect, because look at the ground. You can see the trees, the volcano. It's all in good condition. And also the writing on the screen. Look at this object. This here we're looking at is Nibiru. Now the thing is, though, this pink haze and all this trash... It's all basically being, it's, it's evident now that these uh, heavenly bodies are here. You can't deny it that this is our sun. This isn't our sun. Because every time now, now the sun is too low, we can see this darkness in the sky. Now, if it was our sun, our natural sun, the darkness won't be there. It would be blue skies. Especially in places like Mexico and other places around the world. It's just absolutely unbelievable. I mean, look at it. This is not our natural sun. This is a heavenly body that's been traveling with our sun for a long time now. The binary twin nemesis is traveling with our sun as well. And the thing is, though, we've got that simulator that tries to blur everything out. It's blurring everything out so we can't see it. Look how dark it is up here in the skies. This huge reflection. This colour in here is not from our natural sun, it's from Nibiru. It's been coming, it's been here so many times as Earth has been uh, going through its orbit and going through the crossing about now from January to March, April. And the thing is, though, there was a kind gentleman in the past called Smith the Mister who subscribed to the channel and uh, he'd done a great... Uh, channel in the past respect to you um, and he showed this back in uh, 2015 and basically you could see this same reflection okay now the thing is so basically it was a lot fainter it's a lot smaller it wasn't as strong but let me tell you now it's got very very strong this here is Nibiru it's here and it's coming there's no doubt in it now I mean, look at it. The thing is, though, I mean, it's it just says everything. This image says everything that you, you know, it's just absolutely unbelievable. It's shocking for me to uh, see it myself because uh, look how dark it is. I mean, the thing is, though, it's uh, coming up to the uh, morning time. I mean, on this timestamp, it's 8.18 a.m. 8.18 a.m. And look at it. Look how dark it is there. No chemtrailing. 
They're not come trailing up there at all on that time of the day. On the 28th of the 1st, 2017 at 8.18 a.m. Now, if we all stood there by that volcano and we uh, looked up at that um, that object, we would just think, my gosh, look, I mean, look at it. It's just evident that it's there. Can you see it? Look, at it. it's traveling. Their, their, their simulator now is absolutely, uh, it's a waste of space now. It's a waste of time. As I said before in other videos, they need to take it down now. They need to tell us. They need to tell us. They need to uh, report this on media now and uh, get people to prep and prepare because look how dark the sky is. I mean, it's the sun is dimming now. It's getting seriously dark now because of the binary twin. The reflections are coming out past the uh, simulator now and soon everybody's going to see this. Every single person in the world is going to see this. I've been going on through my uh, channel and work now explaining that skies are darkening. Even Jeff P. Mr. Jeff P. Excellent guy. Does some brilliant work on his channel. He's saying the skies are darkening. It's evident, evident now that the skies are darkening. I mean, look at it. I mean, they miss white screening. They white screen the, uh, they white screen the, as you can see here, the, um, the screens when they think that they've seen something that they don't want the public to see. Now, as this, um, the channel from Mexico and they live close by here, please look at the sky because you will see the darkness of the, uh, I mean, look how dark it gets straight away. Look, watch. Here it is again. Look how dark the sky gets. This is Nibiru. This is, this is evident. This is, uh, the binary twin. This is all there. And they are trying their hardest to cover it still. They can't keep doing this. It needs to stop. I mean, come on. This is, this is so evidential. Look, I mean, the, the thing is, I mean, it, there you go. There's this reflection from the simulator. There's the haze. They try and block it all on the horizon. But here on this volcano cam, they've made a mistake. They've, uh, this cam, I've, I've noticed this cam before has been taken down many, many a time. It's stopped working and they've blocked it and stopped it from working. But I've caught it today. I mean, the thing is, though, we want to see the round heavenly body going up, don't we? But they're blocking it so much. They're spreading it out. This fake sun, this, um, object in front of the sun it's just 100 percent there isn't it i mean the thing is though this is not our natural sun i'm going to go to another cam now so uh respect to you all and uh i mean the thing is though we we're in difficult times now this is another mexico cam another volcano cam you can see on the screen i've noticed something here it's a large red celestial body this there's an object just here just above when the sun comes up you can see that just there and also, if I check the cam, I've noticed something as well. I've noticed this before, but also I uh, just want to show you. When the sun rises up, we're getting this ring. Okay? You can see this here, this um, large like halo on the horizon. Never seen that before. I've seen all this plasma. Now, before on these cams as well, the plasma was very low, but it's got very much higher now. This white plasma, this dark shadow. See the chemtrails starting here. Just the thing is, though, we're just gonna keep hunting the skies and uh, just keep looking at the cams, you know. I mean, as I said before, I'm gonna get things wrong and right, and it's just basically just uh, persistence to just keep keep searching. I mean, you can see this, can't you? This separate light source that's coming up on the horizon here, and I mean, they're all different reflections and everything. You see, the sun's coming up now. Can't see the sun, but the reflection is here. But the sun's coming up. I'm going to go to another cam now. So uh, let's see what else is uh, interesting on a different cam. Here's another very interesting cam that's in Mexico. I've gone back to this cam a million times before, and I've noticed the skies have changed as well on this cam. I mean, you can see here on this cam that's um, basically. Uh, let's go and have a look. Can you see this red reflection on the horizon here? Now, there is some large reflections you will see. Two lots of different reflections. They're coming up when we see the, uh, the horizon brighten up in the distance. 
you will see this um the strangers in the sky i mean you've got these uh chem clouds here these uh toxins and chem clouds these are natural clouds being burnt away and also on the horizon we're getting another reflection always the same reflection now you can see this red ring can't you just up there on the horizon watch it change blue we're getting these red and blue reflections all the time now and then it dips down it gets lower okay and there's the blue reflection this blue haze that's coming up as well and then it lowers itself it gets lower and we've got this um, red haze here as well we've got loads of different um, objects up there uh, that's basically uh, reflecting all the time we've got this uh, blue haze as well and you can see where the sun's coming through now you see this blueness in the sky and here you've got these uh, reflections as well these shadows in the sky as well there's so many different um, there's, there's so many different objects that are up there now, you see. And also when the simulator comes up, it just covers everything up. It really did, it does. Strange line in the sky. You see that, it's very strange. Anyway, so uh, it's just basically, as I said, it's just... Well, what was that there? I noticed something there. Maybe that's just... A light from the sun there but it's but it's just keep going isn't it it's just going to keep you know for me to keep going and just uh, keep searching the skies I mean I believe that could be a lens flare but that's very strange doesn't it maybe I don't know but it's very strange yes it possibly is a lens flare the thing is though basically uh, we're going to see um, all sorts of different objects isn't it and it's just learning to find out the different ones isn't it to get the, the ones right it's a very strange cloud, isn't it? I mean, the thing is, though, uh, the system is here. The system is here. It's just basically finding uh, the right image to catch it, isn't it? I mean, look at that. I mean, it's very unnatural, that, isn't it, the sun? I mean, it's more square, isn't it? Again, where you've got this simulator up there, these cloaking devices that are um, cloaking everything. Now, if them devices weren't up there, we would see, now, we would see the binary twin. 100%. I mean, the thing is, though, basically, I mean, it's just checking all the cams, checking all the cams to get the uh, the right image. I'm going to go to another cam now um, and see what we can find on another cam. Just going to show you this image that I've noticed on this uh, cam as well. I've zoomed in on this image. Now, the thing is, though, basically, something's reflecting off that object, but it could just be a most. Okay. Now. Things on other cams are very noticeable lens flares. I mean, we've got to really um, understand that, um, what we're seeing, really. But I'm telling you now, on this uh, image that we're going to see now, is uh, definitely two celestial bodies that are out there. We're getting the huge reflections of this blue and this red-pink object. Okay? Now, these two objects, I believe, um, are definitely celestial bodies that are coming in. Now watch the horizon that's here, the horizon, okay, you will see these two objects that are coming through, okay. Now the sun is on the other side, it's reflecting on these clouds. The sun will be up here on the other side, because when the ships come in, you will get the reflections of the, uh, the sun, and also you will sometimes get the reflection of the binary twin as well. There's a chemtrail there, but the thing is though, you will see this, watch this. Can you see this shadow that's coming up the top there? This red pink shadow, I believe to be Nibiru. It's always coming up. Even on the evening skies here in Great Britain and the UK, we're getting this uh, very pink and red skies on the opposite side of when the sun's going down at 6 a 6 p.m. in the evening. Now look at this, look, you can see it's still very hazy. We're getting these huge reflections on the opposite side now. This is not from our sun. Can you see this now? This here would be uh, reflections from Nibiru.
now you can see now can you see it getting very much lighter there is a huge object up there and the sun and the clouds are chasing it as well because they always go to uh, light sources I mean look at it now and then it disappears can you see this that is a celestial body that's up there and then it disappears I mean you can see also here as well this blue object now the thing is it could be the same object but we're getting all this trash that's coming in as well look at the darkness of the sky very very dark dark skies this is from the, the binary twin this red reflection on the boat I've seen this many many a time and I've said it on the different uh, cams as well we're getting this red reflection from Nemesis now look at this can you see now that the color changes blue there on the horizon these objects are here now I mean you've got the binary twin reflection on the boats that is not from our natural Sun and then you've got this object again that's in the skies on the opposite side that's lighting up blue and then it disappears so it's coming up on the horizons at this time 7 16 a.m. in the morning in Mexico and then it disappears and goes and the Sun's coming up so the reflections are completely different so we've really got to understand these these reflections are coming up on the horizons we are in crazy times I mean look at this darkness as well and there's the reflection so this heavenly body is coming in it's coming in fast I'm going to go to another cam now but it's so important to get this right the cams don't lie you can see this huge light source and you can see where the clouds are trying to cover it like it would on a natural sunset so if it's affecting everything it's affecting our natural clouds they are spraying the skies every single day to hide this hiding it every day I'm gonna to go to another cam now it's another cam in Mexico as well and we can see the reflections coming up on the horizon now the timestamp there is 65602 I don't know if you can see that because some of the cams I've noticed when I've um, downloaded them I've noticed that the uh, they smudge a lot of this screen out on the uh, the name and the uh, the timestamp things but this is uh, 656 and two seconds now you can see as the Sun's coming up okay you've got that blue reflection there as well and the red reflection thing is though basically as the Sun is coming up we're getting this yellow haze from the binary twin there's two reflections okay two huge reflections look at our natural sky it's gray and it's dark because the Sun is being ecliptic now don't be fooled that these are natural clouds these are full of chemicals full of chems and we're breathing it all in spraying the skies early hours of the morning can you see that this huge object this blue and you've got this other object this other reflection there's another reflection here there's so many different reflections in the skies now we're going to go through this cam now to see what we can see I mean look at this can you see the changes of the sky color on the beach this red reflection from Nemesis the binary twin and the thing is though this natural color of the Sun but the thing is basically you can see the difference in the reflections we've been seeing this all the time so important as I said before to catch these reflections and notice that we've got other celestial bodies up there now these orange reflections are from the binary twin these lighter reflections are from the simulator and the Sun there's a little bit of blue natural sky and we've got this dark dim sky as well on the horizon in the background can you see this now these strange clouds are too low too low to the ground because of the Earth's magnetic field and also Wormwood Nibiru its magnetic field is huge and also um, it's pushing down the clouds the natural clouds are being forced down with all those chemicals as well you saw how dark it gets I mean the reflections 
are proving that we've got these other celestial bodies out there. Time is now 8.28. Look at the land. It's just very, very dark. So we're getting this red reflection first from Nemesis. Okay? Don't be fooled that that is a sun reflection. If I go back, I will show you again. This is a reflection from Nemesis. Okay? This, red, this is Nemesis that's coming up. Nemesis. It comes up and then it goes down on the horizon. We are in a binary system. I've said it all along. I've said it all along. We're in a binary system. I apologize about the tapping. It's just basically going through the cam to see what we can catch with the sun as it's going up. We will see. Now look at this. Look how dark it is. This is a huge reflection. We have never had this reflection before. This dark reflection in the sky. It's getting darker. It's getting blacker and darker. Something is coming. It's a lot bigger than the other celestial bodies. I believe this. These are chem clouds that are being burnt to the hydrogen as well and being burnt away. All the uh, chemicals that are being burnt away. There's this dark reflection in the sky. Very huge dark reflection coming from somewhere else. And there you go. I'm going to go to another cam then and, uh, and I'll see you in two seconds. I'm going to go to this last cam now to show you the plasma is getting much, much bigger now, much worse. The plasma is showing itself more evident every single day now. We're getting this huge reflection. Look at this. I mean, look at it. This huge reflection now. And the sky is just dark now. And then the sun comes up beforehand. And we'll be getting all this uh, reflections now from the heavenly bodies now that are coming up. Uh, but, but the thing is, though, government and media, NASA, they will all come out with some wise crack story that it's something else that's coming up on the horizon. It's part of the sun. Don't worry about it. I mean, if I was stood on that beach and I saw this now, I would be absolutely shocked by it. I mean, there's too many reflections on the sea as well. I mean, the thing is, though, what I'm keeping an eye on is this blue haze and this red haze, the two colours. Okay? And on the other side as well, if uh, these cans could move around, we would see that um, object coming up on the horizon just afterwards when the sun's up. We just want the truth, don't we? We want to know what's going on. And we know that it's completely wrong what's going on in the skies. I mean, this greyness of the sky. Definitely something is going on now. There is something huge coming and we know that the bodies are out there now because we're getting all the reflections. Okay? This is the sun that's coming up. Okay? Now this object here is another refraction of another body. Now the thing is though, the reflections are there and it goes down as the sun comes up. And then it disappears. And then we get the plasma. Okay, we get the plasma. So they're hiding the bodies. They're hiding them. You can see the reflections here. Okay. There's so much going on up there in the skies now. And it's just basically, I mean, the thing is, though, the sun doesn't act like this. It's never acted like this before. I'm going to go now, so uh, I'll be back to you again on the uh, other cams. But can you see how dark it is here? I mean, the thing is, though, the sun should be coming up bright now. Nice and bright. Look how dark it is on the land. The timestamp is 9 o'clock. Well, it's 08.58. And the sun is just like a block. And how dark it is. They're hiding these celestial bodies. They're stopping them from reflecting on the sea as well. They're chewing up our sun right in front of our eyes. I mean, this is a total mess, isn't it? Absolute total mess what's going on in the skies right now. And, I mean, look at the land. Okay, look at the land. It's too dark. The sun's up. You can see these angles of the sun as well. They're all completely wrong. 
I mean, anyway, let's just see what's going on here before we go on this uh, camp. I mean, come on. I mean, NASA, you are doing an awful job of hiding this. I mean, we can all see what's going on. We really can. It doesn't look real anymore, does it? I mean, it's all these angles. Anyway, take care, and I will get back to you soon. So, uh, eyes to the skies, and I will uh, do another video tomorrow. Have a great evening. Nice weekend from Matt Rogers. Good evening, everybody. It's Matthew now. It's uh, the 28th of the 1st, 2017, and the time is now 6.32 northeast here in the UK. And also respect to a lot of uh, channels that are doing excellent work. And basically here you can see Carlos Ferrada, a Chilean astronomer who basically uh, captured images and also um, noticed that this uh, huge incoming system is uh, on its way. It's heading our way. It's been doing it for years. I'm going to go to some cams now, so we're going to see if we can look to see if we can find some interesting uh, objects up there in the, uh, the skies, the reflections as well. Two or three reflections in the sky. So uh, take care. Enjoy the footage from Matt Rogers. We're looking at the uh, Mexico cams, and you can see on this Mexico cam, look how dark it is in that haze of chemtrails. Now, the thing is, though, these chemtrails and all this haze and pollution up there in the skies that they're spraying, all this aluminium and all this uh, toxins, it's being spread to hide the system. The system is out there now. And also today as well, here in the UK, I was coming back from shopping and I pulled up the car and looked at the uh, sky. Took some images as well, but you can see basically where the sun is blatantly being covered by these uh, chemicals. They are spraying every single day and the sun is too low. The sun is not moving as high as it was last January. It's very, very low. I mean, people down on the ground... Here on this image you can see they're breathing all these chemtrails in and also in China and other parts of the world on the TV medias and stuff and I can see the lies running off their tongues. It's just absolutely evil what they're doing. There's so many things that they're covering up there now. They are cloaking Nibru and also the binary twin. There's a reflection here as well. There's so many things that are up there that basically we need to uh, Keep our eyes to the skies and notice these. Here, as I said as well, oh, is in the UK. They are covering it 100% these chemtrails. They are spray blasting our skies every single day here in the UK. But the sun and the binary twin is still trying to cut through those cams. I'm going to go to another cam now. Here is another cam in Mexico as well. Look how dark it is. It's very, very dark. Now, we are definitely being eclipsed. It is time now to prepare. It is so much time. I mean, the thing is now, it's just so evidential. I mean, look at the ground. It's too dark. It's 12.48 p.m. And look how dark it is. On the ground, you've got the car lights on. I mean, the thing is, though, I mean, we've got objects up there in the skies. This heavenly body is coming. It's here. It, I mean, there is a ring, that, a large ring that's on the screen there. That's from the camera. But the thing is, the rest of it is so evident that we've got this huge object that's coming in. Blatantly coming in. I mean, Mr. Dill Martin's channel, I mean, he did a video on a celestial body the other day. I mean, it was fantastic. It's outstanding how that object was picked up. So, uh, excellent work. Martin for doing that. I mean, the thing is, though, I mean, all the subscribers are watching, and it's just amazing what we're seeing now, isn't it? I mean, we're seeing a lot of large objects up there in the skies. I'm going to go to another cam now. Here's another cam as well that's in uh, Mexico. You can see on the horizon that red haze from Nemesis, the binary twin. Now we're getting the reflections as well from the binary twin. I mean, look at the ground, it's very red. It will get much darker, much redder as the uh, time goes on. We're going to see some huge objects up there in uh, the near future. Because the skies are completely changing now. 
going to go to another cam for you. This is uh, another cam from Mexico. You can see this uh, dark haze on the left hand side of the screen. It could be smog or chemicals and uh, chem waste. But the thing is behind it is a dark shadow. Can't get rid of the shadow. I'm going to go to another cam. Here's another webcam in Mexico. I mean look at this. I have never seen it this dark on this cam before. Look on the ground like a very yellow haze. And look at the skies as well. I mean, the, Now look at where the sun is. I mean this blue, huge blue reflection. Something is in front of our sun. Some celestial bodies are in front of our sun now. Is it the blue kachina? I don't know. But the thing is though we're getting this huge blue reflection. All this plasma coming from another heavenly body, something because I'm telling you now. These huge reflections are not from our sun. Our sun is up there. Look at the darkness on the right and left hand side. Sooner or later these celestial bodies are going to be coming very close in front of our sun and we will go into darkness. We will go into uh, three days of darkness. This is now. This situation is now. These reflections prove it. I'm going to go to another cam. Here we are again at another Mexico cam. 12.45 p.m. Now, anybody with common sense, everybody, all the subscribers that are subscribing, I just want to say as well, thank you for uh, you subscribers for subscribing as well. It's so great that other people are joining in and watching the channel as we travel through and also this diary that I'm doing of the skies. It's so important that we get the truth out there because these skies are not the same skies as we've had before. Now, these celestial bodies are getting bigger and they are coming very, very much closer now. You can see here that there is a reflection from another heavenly body and also this blue reflection in front of this uh, large simulated disk. Our natural sun is being covered every day now and all the ground is dark. Look at the haze and also look at the trash that's coming in as well. We're in trouble. We really are and government are still plugging it and there's nothing wrong with us. There's nothing wrong with our Mother Earth. They keep pumping out this fake news media all the time. Every time I put on the, uh, the TV and I see the government that's uh, saying their world as well, I've noticed on reports that um, they have all these uh, toxins that get blown through the skies and that and they head towards the land. It's just absolutely criminal what they're doing. The military are being run by the powers to be right now and uh, one of these or some of these pilots need to expose these uh, chems now and let the public know what's going on because this is our planet and it's so awful to see what's going on but it's so evident on these uh, webcams these uh, images that are in high definition that our, uh, our earth is darkening now you can see on the left hand side that dark shadow coming in and these chems are just being pumped every single day now. I'm going to go to another cam. Here on this cam as well, in Mexico, look at the land, look at the darkness, look at the traffic down on the left hand side, how dim it is. We're getting this pinky yellow haze again. And also, as the sun is up, the timestamp there is 12.43, and you can see that red reflection and the blue reflection above. These are the two reflections that I've been getting on the other cams as well, where the sky and the, the evening sky, when the sun's going down, you get this blue haze in the sky, then red haze and blue haze. We are getting two objects, two reflections of two objects that are up there in the sky. And it's just outstanding that people still don't look up to see that the skies have changed. I mean, this is so evident that we've got two huge celestial reflections. I put my life on the line here 